Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Synology B drive that was just released not too long ago. This makes backing up your computers and your mobile phone pictures very easy to do, especially for people who aren't technically savvy. Usually I do an unboxing of the gear that I'm showing on my channel, but there really isn't much that comes with it. We have the Synology B drive, which is a two terabyte drive. They do have one that's a one terabyte and we will look at a pricing shortly. And then it comes with the USB-C cable, with a USB-A adapter. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com. I do have a Discord channel and I will have the Synology B drive Amazon affiliate links in the description below. Before we go into the configuration of the B drive, let's take a look at the website. So this is your personal backup hub and we could store up to 833,000 photos or 5.7 thousand videos. It says we have data privacy because all files are stored locally, we have no subscription fee, and it's always accessible. So retrieve your files anytime on your computer via File Explorer. It does come with the B drive for desktop and there is a mobile app and we will go through that shortly. Down at the bottom of the webpage, it says premium high speed storage. So experience fast backups with B drive powered by its built-in solid state drive. And if you keep scrolling, it will go through a couple of the specs. So it has the SSD inside. It does up to 10 gigabits per second by type C USB, and it has a drop protection of up to two meters. I'm not gonna be trying that out, but you can if you do buy one of these. Now, if we look at the pricing for the one terabyte, it's $119 USD, and for the two terabyte, it's $199. I'm not 100% sure where you could buy this in Canada, I had to buy it through the Amazon US store and it was shipped to me from there. Now to get the B drive app on your computer, you need to go to sy.to slash B drive INST. So we're going to do that and it will just download the B drive. So I'll press enter and you can see that it went to my downloads folder. So I'll click on that. All right. It says, welcome to B drive, your personal data keeper. So I have read and agreed to the end user license and then they have some performance diagnostics. I'm not going to say yes to that. And we're going to install now. I've now plugged the B drive into my computer and we're going to press start now. So the first step, it says, hello, start your journey with B drive, back up your files or photos from your computer and mobile devices or sync different folders with ease. So we're going to sign in. I already have an account with Synology, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with that. But if you don't, you'll need to register. Okay, we are signed into the Synology B drive and it says, what would you like to set up today? So we could do computer backup, file sync or mobile transfer. We're going to start with computer backup and press continue. The next step, it's going to ask us which folders that we want to back up, desktop documents, downloads, music, picture and videos. I'm just going to download one specific folder so we could choose custom. So the folder that I'm going to want to back up is the B drive YouTube. And I just dropped a couple YouTube clips in this folder and we'll click on that and then press next. Now the final step, it says you're ready to start backup and we're going to click backup now. On the top right corner of the B drive application, it says check out what B drive is working on and we could press got it. So we'll check on there. And it's showing that it is backing that up and we could pause that if we want. It does show that it's already completed. Now that we've done the computer backup, let's do file sync. So on file sync, I'm just gonna press continue. And then we're gonna do a custom folder. So we'll do custom and then press next. So I've created another folder that's called B drive sync and we'll click on that and we're gonna press next cause that's the one that we're gonna be syncing files to. On this next step, we can press sync now. There is nothing in that B drive sync folder yet, but these two text documents, we will drag and drop it to make sure that it's working properly. And then we'll press sync now. Now on the B drive, I press to go to home and it's showing us a couple tips. So home, view recent activities and storage usage. And then it says computer backup, backup files on your computer to B drive automatically. And this next one is the file sync. So sync folders between your computer and B drive effortlessly. And the last one is our mobile transfer. So back up your photos automatically or quickly send files to B drive via B drop. Now let's test the file sync out. We are in the B drive right now. And the only thing in here is the PC backup. And then we have the B drive online installer. So if we drop down here and then grab these two documents, and then drag it into the B drive sync folder. This should show up in our B drive. So let's bring that back up in File Explorer. You can now see that they're both synced into File Explorer. So that is very easy to do. The last thing we're gonna take a look at is the mobile backup. I already have the B drive application running on my iPhone. This does work for Android as well. And we're gonna press start. Now it says we need to pair our B drive. So we need to go back to B drive desktop Go to the mobile and then press start. Here it's going to bring up a QR code, so we need to scan that. Now that we've scanned the QR code, it says back up your photos. And we could back up all our photos or back up new photos only. We're going to back up everything and I'll press start new backup. We're going to give it access to all of our photos. 
We could see our free space, which hasn't used up any so far. We could see our photo backup and it's backing it up. We have 1,299 items left. Now, if we click on our settings, we have an unpair from the B drive. We have our photo format analytics and then some other customer support info. If we click on the photo backup, we would see the current picture that it's backing up. We could do focus backup, the format again, and we could see the folder in the B drive that those photos are going to. Now that's gonna be it for this video on the Synology B drive and what do I think of it? Well, I think this is good, like I said, for people who aren't super tech savvy, they could just plug the B drive into their computer, do a full computer backup, and then do mobile backups as well and syncing. Now, if you're more computer savvy and you already have a Synology NAS, you could use Synology Photo Station and Active Backup for Business for your computers. That is what I currently do. If you have any questions about this video, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.